Hey, what's up, guys? Warlocks will back here, and today we're back on that Reno Pocket Galaxy Mage grind. Um, yeah, hopefully we can hit Legend today. I kind of doubt it. We're a lot of games away, but we'll try our best. And uh, yeah, this audio might sound a little bit different. I have my mic in a different spot. I'm trying out different things to try and improve my audio again because I continuously find that my audio sounds like trash when I compare it to other YouTubers. So I'm really trying to get that better. I don't think it's the mic, because I know a lot of YouTubers who use this mic, or I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this mic, so, uh, yeah, anyways, let's jump right into the first game, alright guys, I'll see y'all there. Game. Fucking druid, fuck me. <laughs> I fucking hate this class so fucking much. Although Doomsayer Ice Block is really solid. If they don't have an as, as insane start as they did last time we played against them, the start is actually really fucking good. And then knowing me, the fact that I drew really super fucking well, really super fucking well, well, my English is really good tonight. Um, my, I'm almost guaranteed that he's going in big in turn one into a pirate. Turn with a pirate. No pirate, that's actually kind of big. Like kind of big, I mean really big unless this is a pirate. Okay, so I can drop this here. And I don't think he's able to deal with it too easily. Hopefully. Yeah. I think this is probably the best play overall. Okay. So from here, we're looking at drawing... Not... Mad Scientist. Mad Scientist is the worst draw in our deck at the moment. Because it does... I just smacked a bowl that was on my desk. Mad Scientist does absolutely nothing, which is why it's so fucking bad. Mm, we have a free turn to develop book. Yeah. Of course I burned Potion. Okay, that's pretty solid. Zilliax is also alright. I really wish I didn't burn Potion. Could have been worse. It could have been Volcanic Potion, I guess. Could have been uh, Arcane Intellect. Could have been Pocket. That's oh, super fucking bad. Summons a 3-3 from his deck. So this is the play here for sure, because it actually wipes this, but we have to hope he greeds here. He buffs this and then attacks me in the face. He doesn't actually kill this, but 100% this goes into there. Because right now this is actually makes this deal 4. Oh, it doesn't. I thought it did. He's 100% giving us all plus 1, plus 1, which really, really sucks. At least plus 1, plus 1. He's not. He's griefing. He fucked up so hard. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. This is actually so awkward though because I don't have a way to deal with this. The one fucking card I said I didn't want to see. This has an average of getting probably possibly something that would kill that. But it also gives me the biggest board so I think it is correct. I drop ice blocks soon. Actually this only has to take two. Oh that's such a big draw for him. Like, actually so fucking big. Okay, at least that's not bigger. So that, the 5-5 five five is going face for sure. That, probably, he tests the water by hitting the 3-4, 99% of the time. You definitely test by hitting the 3-4. The 3-4 or the 2-1. I think going face is wrong, yeah. That, that's by far his, his best play. He draws 2. Hopefully Zilliax can actually deal with the board here. That's an insane draw. All right, because this can hit here. This trades there. He's almost out of rush minions. So theoretically, if I can continuously deal with the board for the rest of the game, I win the game. Um, since I'm do dropping an ice block and I'm still at a lot of health. And those are that's like also really good. That's most of his burst out of the way. To be fair, that is super awkward to deal with. Like, I can't deal with both of these. Okay, that's fine-ish. Explosive Runes deals with one minion. Uh, I can trade here, but I think that's wrong. I think I go face. The reason I think this is the best play... Sure, Savage Roar is really good, but it doesn't proc my block. And if he plays a minion here, he's fucked. And doing this means that it's dead to either one of these if he just buffs it once. And if he doesn't buff it once, that should hit the 2-1, yeah. I gotta drop a Pocket Galaxy with um, this still up. 
is really, really nice. That's dead, which is really super good. Like, that's really important to kill. The thing is I have to do this hit here. Ah, oh, that's so fucking bad for me. Um... Fuck, I have to kill this somehow. Okay. Hmm. What's the right play here? Uh... This is the super greedy play, but it might pay off the most. Yeah, I'm going with this. I don't think he can proc block this turn. Savage Roar is 6, 7, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, roughly. So I guess theoretically if his hand was perfect, he could kill me. I don't know if he actually has enough mana to do that. That's fine because they both died to this. Now they don't, but... That was actually almost optimal. Although, like, this is still, like, kind of insane. Especially if I draw a potion. The fact that he didn't proc block here is actually kind of, like, insane. Depending on what I draw here... Okay, Lothab is, like, okay. The thing is I gotta draw so many cards here, which is what's so insane. Uh, yeah, this is really good. We're going for like a big board wipe, hopefully. Oh, fuck. Ooh, that's actually also insane. Right, if I just have a big enough board, it doesn't matter what he has. Oh, that's so greedy. Oh, that's actually also insane. On a Reno. Um... I can pull something from his hand still. I don't like pulling something from his hand though. Okay. With a Savage Roar, that's 10, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24, he'd have to have second Mark of the Lotus, second of a lot of stuff. So I think I should be fine here. Especially since, actually he couldn't even have played everything. He also has to be super worried of whatever my Kazakus potion is. And he might want to kill this here. Yeah, killing that is also, like, really important for him. Yeah, that's real. If we win this game, man, that's actually insane. Luna is so fucking broken. Um, I can go freeze here. Freezing is not bad. Let's pull something from his hand, see what it is. Okay, that's a little awkward. The big things I don't want to live, I kill off here. And I can let everything else kind of just sit. Uh, start poking things down. Yeah, this is fine. The reason I'm, I'm staying like this and I'm not committing anything else I need to kill this next turn, and I want to get this. Um, more Malagoses is going to be insane. And I still have this. I also wanted to pull something from his hand. I want him to draw more. Plan is to hopefully leave the 6-5 alive almost for the rest of the game, so he draws the rest of his deck. I know he has one Parachute Brigade, one South Sea Deckhands, one Savage Roar, uh, one uh, Gibberling, one Intrepid, um, and one Adorable whatever, I think. Those are his last cards. Um, alright. So, I need this to be dead. That. That, that. Let's do this. We gotta cast this for free, which is what's super big here. That's, like, insane. Oh, that's true, I get two spells. Yeah, an evocation, why not? Oh, uh, this also makes my board ginormous. Just the other thing I like. I might have missed lethal, actually. I didn't even think about that. Uh, which do I want? I guess this is fine. This is actually possibly better. Uh, six. This is six. Beautiful. That's fine. He has two more cards, and our board can deal with his. Even through Savage Roar, he doesn't kill me. So that's one, two, 
three, four, five cards. So I know exactly the last cards he has in his deck, I think. No, I'm missing something. That's the adorable. So there's one Gibberling, one Parachute Brigade, one Savage Roar. And what's the last card? Nizoth? No, that deck wouldn't be playing Nizoth, would it? Oh no, never mind. So yeah, the last cards are Gibberling, Parachute Brigade, Savage Roar. I think he loses this one. Buddy, buddy, you can't math. Buddy, you can't math. <laughs> this is just going to be super big here. It allows me to deal with this board so well. Ah, there we go. Did we actually beat the fucking deck? I didn't think that was possible. Um, That was actually a really, really close game, huh? Really fucking close. Um, Alright, let's get up the next one. Uh, there's not much else to add there. So yeah, let's do that. Alright guys, I'll see y'all there. A rogue, this is most likely Kingsbane, is my guess. This hand is really fucking bad. I'm telling to keep Jandis. The card is actually, like, bonkers. But no. I really need to hit a hand very similar to the last one I had. Sheep, Mad Scientist, Volcanic Potion. That's actually really good as well. The Sheep and the Mad Scientist combo. Ooh, and there's a Galaxy on 7 here. Hopefully he's the one guy playing, like, Saboteur, and he goes, like, on turn 3, like, coin... Uh, counterfeit coin, counterfeit coin, saboteur, cast my own Lunas for me. I win the game, because I play Lunas on three. Uh, oh, that's such a bad draw here. Actually, possibly the worst draw in my deck. Super bad. Sheep plus Volcanic Potion, that was really, really good on curve. Of course, and of course you didn't draw patches when you drew three or two pirates. Kind of got grief there. Not gonna lie. I do get a... I gotta do Valley Trades here, which I really, really like. Because I don't really have a good 3-drop, so... Doing Valley Trades means he's forced to hit 2 damage into my guy. He should have actually done this hit here. Because I was forced to ping off his other thing, so that meant this would survive. Now he's wasting 4 damage, because he should probably kill this, because it deals with anything he plays. If he plays Cannon, this trades with the Hero Power... But this trades with a hero power. So he should probably kill this. So he loses out on 4 damage because he didn't kill this last turn. I don't like that play whatsoever. Was you just lost out on this guy for free. Like, actually zero cost to me. Uh, I'm trying to get ice block here. Yes. Oh, uh, that was such a bad play. Fuck. I'm so dumb. I forgot that I needed to hero power. That's so fucking bad. I was trying to hit ice block because having two ice blocks in this matchup would be GG. Also, because it would give me... Uh, the other one would give me flame ward, which is super broken. Okay, that's hitting the 2-2. Two -two. I should have taken effigy, possibly. Ugh, that's so bad. I take so much damage here. If this was flame ward, I guess it'd be slightly better. But this is super awkward. At least he doesn't necessarily get coin or the weapon back here. Okay, I'm at 17. 17, and I deal with his board this turn. I drew Reno. That's actually also, like, super good. Okay. If he doesn't have a way to necessarily redraw Kingsbane here, I'm kind of chilling. I have Reno. I need to hit a one-mana Zola as well. Of course, you have a way to get Kingsbane. Oh, he doesn't. He's RNGing it. That's really good for me. Because if he misses on one of the three cards that hits it for him. Actually, there's only two cards that hits in the... Ugh, of course he hits. That's so fucking bad for me. Oh my god. That's actually so fucking good on his part. I need to hit Gluttonous Ooze, I think. These cards should go back. I fucking hate the fact that Secret Passage doesn't put the cards you draw back into your deck. Um, theoretically, I don't die if I do this. Theoretically. This looks so weird dropping this, but this kind of prevents him really from playing minions. Because, like, cannon would die to this. Or, sorry, no, cannon wouldn't, but, like, other stuff would possibly die to this. So, unless he top six Eviscerate, he can't actually proc my block here, which means I get a... 
or that. This, but he kind of wants to hit this as well. The proccing block is so good for him. I need to hit uh, exactly like the thing is I didn't want to proc block because I want to drop this next turn. It's super awkward. He has to kill this though. Reno is something he can't just leave up because Barista would super cuck him. But yeah, Gluttonous Zeus is one of those minions that is a must hit for me. It's kind of one of those things I must hit with Barista. Because gaining 11 health twice would be super broken. But I don't think I'm dead here. Hopefully I'm not dead here. I'm dead to like... Fucking Eviscerate, Eviscerate, Deadly Poison. I'm at 9 then, and he doesn't kill Reno. I actually need to hope he doesn't have that. Drew the other shiny finder. It's kind of awkward. Doomerang. That deck doesn't play Doomerang, does it? I gotta do this hit, which I really like. I need to draw exactly Gluttonous Ooze. That's not Gluttonous Ooze. Oh, this is super fucking awkward. I have to do this. Yeah, there's no spells I can cast from my deck. This is so fucking bad, but it's the play I have to do. Just gonna build my board as big as possible. I'm dead to Eviscerate, Eviscerate. That's the only thing I'm dead to. He just have Spell Eviscerate, or er, Card Eviscerate, Eviscerate. You have both Eviscerates? Yeah, okay. Oh well. He had, I had to get unlucky and not draw the Gluttonous Ooze. Or an Alex. I can't even play Alex. Like, Zilliax would have done it as well, because I would have had a Taunt minion. Dirty Rat would have done it, because I would have had a Taunt minion. Um, Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Potion would have done it, because I could have played the Reno. Kind of unfortunate. Um, But that's, like, the problem, right? If you're playing in one of these super slow controly decks, when you hit Kingsbane, it's one of the hardest matchups, because they have infinite damage, basically. Because since they don't change their hero power, they don't die to fatigue. It's very, very hard to win that matchup when you're playing a control deck and you don't play the card that steals their weapon. If you steal their weapon, they lose. Like, almost 100% they lose the game. But not stealing their weapon means it's really, really hard. Or burning Kingsbane. Those are your only two options. Anyways, with that being said, uh, we still have time for one more. So let's, uh, let's queue it up. Alright guys, I'll see y'all there. Gold on. So this is most likely so. This card could have been actually like really insane in that matchup. Hmm. I would keep Reno in case it's zoo. I keep both potions because they're just really good to have. I had both pairs in my deck. Both secrets, both Renos. If this is a zoo, this hand is actually kind of insane. But skip judging on the skip on turn one, it's control. That's really bad for me. And he kept his entire hand, which is even worse for me. Yeah, it's control. Actually, this is the Dark Lair. Interesting. Set it down to three so it dies to a uh, Flame Ward. Depending how hard he pops off here. Okay. The reason I know it's Dark Lair is because you don't play that in a deck where you're planning on playing the card, um, re or, uh, Gul'dan. If he's smart, he doesn't attack here. Or, sorry, he does attack here. I played the wrong secret. I meant to play Ice Block. Playing Ice Block there is so much better. Because he attacks there, he commits everything to the board. It is Highlander. Was a Vulgar Homunculus? Is this man trolling? As long as I don't get dirty ready with this hand, I'm like super chilling. If I hit Pocket on 7, or on 6 even, because I have the coin, I'm as well like chilling. I have Jandis on 5. Hopefully I draw Pocket for 6. Or Turtle on 7. Like... Basically, those two cards I need to draw for turn 7. And even then, like, it's not a guaranteed one, but it's like a really, really close thing. Okay, that's fine. I get a Jandis here. If I get, like, something like a Ziliax, it's so fucking broken. Malagos is kind of actually bad to hit. It's hard to combo with other cards. <sighs> These are both fucking terrible. 
I don't have no. I actually do have ways of copying this. Any card he has kills this anyways, so it doesn't really matter. This might stay alive, actually. And Zola plus Potion allows me to get more, theoretically. It's kind of awkward, though. It's not even worth really getting. If you control three of these at the end of your turn, you have five damage to a random enemy. So it deals 15 damage. It's not that great. If I had some that, like, doubled end of turn triggers, it'd be, like, broken. That was the wrong trade. Oh, if you, I guess if you're planning on doing that, it's fine. But you get another homunculus, which I don't necessarily like. If he doesn't kill this here, that's, like, super wrong on his part. Kind of. Because, like, getting more copies of this card is also kind of insane. The thing is, in the long run, I get also more value than he does. That's 7, 8, 9. If he doesn't trade here, Reno is so good. It wipes all this. It's, like, actually insane. He should 100% do that trade. Oh, does he... Th he might think that I took this. That's wrong, but... He might think that I actually took this. Because it's... It's arguably correct. Hitting Luna here, or, yeah, Luna's Pocket Galaxy here is so massive. The one thing that's a little awkward about this deck is that drawing cards in this matchup is so fucking bad. So you have, like, three dead cards. Where if he draws cards, it doesn't really matter because his hero power in the late game, it gains him three health. To be fair, in the late game, you just punch him in the face with dragons, and he kind of loses. Falls the fuck over. What's I guess the only other hero portrait that Warlock has if he's not running Gul'dan, which I kind of doubt. Like, in any slow Warlock deck, you're running Gul'dan because how powerful the demons are. That's not the card I wanted to see. Uh, okay, let's do this first. Let's see what this gives. I kind of want to duplicate. <laughs> No, it was if, the thing is, if he duplicates and he hits this, I'm, like, so far behind. But he might not think it's duplicate, which is why duplicate might be, like, super big brain. This trade also makes him kind of want to do this and not hit the O2, or even hit the 2-2. The two -two. Hitting the 2-2 two -two just gets me more value. Hitting this gets me more value. I, I basically had to look at everything there and said what would give me more value. That's a little awkward, actually. Do it, do it. Ah, yes. He fell into my trap card. It's actually so broken. Does I get to do this hit? And that's one. Yeah, that's exactly 10 too. Have some fun. Depending on what it summons, I hero power, but... It might not summon? Okay, that's actually really good to summon. I, dro I dropped this, though. Dropping this is really good. He just never deals with this. Which means I might get some amount of value out of Potion and then Zolaing it. But I doubt that's the play ever. Unless he had nothing on board, that's never the play. And even then, I can't play both of them. Does this Zola one cost 5 still? Um. This should get me a Polymorph, right? Actually, I don't even want to Polymorph that. I'm trolling. Ah. If I get a Malagos' Polymorph, I'm fine with that. Uh, I got a Malagos' Fireball. Hold up. That sets up lethal. Yeah, that just sets up lethal. Okay. Um, and he can't kill me this turn. Yeah, he can't kill me this turn. The reason I did that attack is that it might incite him to do 3-3 uh, three, three into 4-3. And he's kind of forced to play either Gul'dan or Reno here. That's so fucking bad for me. It still kind of forces him to play Reno or... Um, what's his face? This, is, this still forces him to play Reno. Oh, so he just like threw the game. I, I like it. Like a style. Doing that trade is also never correct because this could be Flame Strike. I could have played Flame Strike there, but it would wipe his ward. But instead, I gotta do this. And then BB Zephyrus to get another fireball, and then he's dead. Do I want to style points? Nah. 
We're a mage. We have to stick with mage cards. So fucking big. Who needs Pocket Galaxy to beat Control? I don't even think he was playing uh, Gul'dan, though, in this list. It seems super awkward, too, because, like, Hooked Weaver is super bad to res. Uh, Imbissal Force is relatively bad. S uh, Savathor... Sathovar, I think is how you pronounce that, is super bad to res. Um, basically, the only nuts minion to res that he played was uh, Dreadlord, but I presume uh, Malaganus is in that deck, too, which is another really, really bonkers minion to hit. But, um, yeah. Anyways... Uh, it's super fucking late. I don't actually have time to play another one. I should. I need to get some sleep. I have not really slept more than two hours a night in the last week, so I'm insanely exhausted. Um, with that being said, though, I hope y'all enjoyed the videos. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Rep the gang, and I'll see you guys in the next one, where hopefully we get more dubs, we continue winning, you know, everything that makes me happy. And, um... Yeah, I'll see you guys there. It, there should, there might be a stream tomorrow. I'm not sure, depending how I f like how awake I feel. I might chug an energy drink halfway through the day, so this will have enough energy for it. But um, yeah. Anyways, be hitting a new deck, so uh, leave leave your suggestions down below, and I'll see uh, what I want to play. Alright, guys, I'll see you there. Peace.